Hey guys, in this tutorial I will show you how you can send an SMS directly from Excel using VBA. The workbook we are going to build will look like this. After pressing the button, an SMS will be sent to the number we have specified above. If this sounds cool to you, then stick around and we will build this workbook from scratch. If you want to skip straight to the VBA code, then go to this timestamp. But before coding, let me shortly explain how it works. To send a SMS, we are using an API. API stands for Application Programming Interface. And without going into details, it means an interface or method for two pieces of software to communicate. There are many APIs available like retrieving stock prices, weather forecast, or like in our case, sending an SMS. We will call this API with the help of VBA. There are plenty of SMS APIs available. Unfortunately, I couldn't find a free solution. However, many SMS providers are offering a free starting balance, which you can use to test their services. After a quick Google search, I found the following provider. It's called SMS77.io. Please note that I do not have any partnership or affiliate link with this provider. The purpose of this video is to show you how you can connect to an API using VBA. Please feel free to pick any other SMS API. The steps will be very similar to the ones I'm going to show you. With this being said, let us get started. First, you need to have an account on sms77.io. Just follow the steps on their website. Once done, log into your account. In the upper right corner, you should see your current balance. It should be around 50 euro cents. Mine is slightly higher as I was topping up my account balance. To get the API key, click on Settings, navigate to HTTP API and copy the API key. Just for the sake of this tutorial, I will show you my API key. In general, you should keep this information private. And also, please do not try to use my API key as I will change my key before uploading this video. Alright, and that's all we need from here. Let us head to Excel now and prepare the workbook. First, I will copy the API key. Also, I will build a simple UI with the receiver number and the text we want to send. Let us head over to VBA. To access the VBA editor, click on the Developer tab. If it's not visible for you, you can enable it under File, Options, Customize Ribbon and then tick the box for Developer. Now the Developer tab should be visible and we can open the Visual Basic editor. First, we will insert a new module which holds our code. I will name it Send SMS. For the macro itself, I will give it the same name, send SMS. To get the API key from the workbook, we just type activesheet.range and then the cell address, so in my case it's C4, and then the value attribute. I will do the same for the receiver number and the text we want to send. The next lines of code will be a little bit more technical. Essentially, what we are going to do is to send a POST request to sms77.io via the API. There are different methods in VBA for how you can do it. I will use the XML HTTP method, which we need to activate first. Click on Tools and then References. Here, make sure to click on Microsoft XML version 6.0 and then confirm the selection by clicking OK. I will of course also upload this workbook and insert the VBA code in the description box down below so that you do not need to type the following lines of code yourself. We can initiate the request by using the XML HTTP object we just have activated under the references. Next, we need to specify the URL for the HTTP request. I found the URL in the sms77.io documentation. For the URL, all we need to do is to concatenate the API key with the receiver number and the respective text. We can use this URL now to open the POST request. For the request header, there are different ways to construct it. For this tutorial, I will use the URL encoded method. 
Alright, the hard work is done. As the last step, we just need to send the request with our URL we just have constructed. Optionally, we can also get the response tags of our request, which I highly recommend as this will help us to debug the code in case of any errors. In my case, I will display the response text in a message box. And here it is, the VBA code to send an SMS via VBA. For the UI, I will also implement a button and link it to the macro we just have created. One more remark in regards to the format of the receiver number. The receiver number should start with the country specific code, but without the leading plus. So for Germany, for example, it would be 49 and then the phone number. For Japan, 81. And for the US, for instance, it would start with 1. For privacy reasons, I will hide my phone number here. After clicking the button, we can see now the response text. The status is 100, which means that the SMS was successfully sent. In the documentation of sms77.io, you can also find further explanation on how this API works, as well as the different meanings of the status codes. Let me also copy this documentation link in the workbook for your reference. Okay guys, and this is how you can send an SMS via Excel using VBA. I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you have any questions or issues, leave them in the comment sections below. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.